recent years, our lab has been studying the spinal cord microenvironments of two animal models, the zebrafish that manages to regenerate its spinal cord after an injury, and the mouse, which is a mammal with little regenerative capacity, just like us humans. We have recently identified senescent cells as potential microenvironment modulators with an impact on the regenerative outcome after a spinal cord injury. These cells were already known to appear in response to situations of cellular stress and it was also known that these cells can influence the microenvironment by producing and releasing a wide range of factors known as SAS. Surprisingly, whereas in zebrafish senescent cells are temporarily induced at the periphery of the lesion, in mice these cells accumulate and persist over time. Therefore, we asked, could this accumulation of senescent cells be one of the factors that contributes to the regenerative failure that exists in mammals? To answer this question, we resorted to the use of senolytic drugs, in other words, drugs that induce the death of senescent cells. With the administration of different senolytic drugs, we have observed a significant reduction in the number of senescent cells as expected, but we also found a decrease in the extension of the scar and lower levels of inflammation due to a decreased secretion of pro-fibrotic and pro-inflammatory factors. The observed changes at the molecular and cellular level underlie the improved locomotor, sensory and bladder functions that we have also found in the treated animals. These results allow the identification of a cell type that appears to play a negative role in the context of spinal cord injuries in mammals. It is now necessary to understand what factors these cells produce and how they change over time after an injury, as this knowledge could create new opportunities to find better therapeutic targets.